uh, clicking over to the kitchen with one of the best chefs, well-known chefs in Hampton Roads, Bobby Huber. What's going on? Hey. Not much. It's, it's morning and it's time to eat some oysters. Oysters. Now, I don't know. Oysters for breakfast. You said that it's one of your favorite foods, right? Besides pork. And everyone knows I love pork. Uh, <laughs> I praise the lard. Um, the, uh, what we're going to do today is kind of my take on oysters Rockefeller. Uh, oysters and Rockefeller started at Antoine's in um, New Orleans, and uh, room, no one knows the true recipe. They said there's no spinach in it, but we, we do spinach in it because people expect it anymore. Oh, very so interesting. We're gonna, so I got some chopped spinach right here. Okay, so you've got the chopped spinach. Yeah. What else do you have in there? We got, we're going to put some shallots. We're going to do some anchovies. Mm -hmm. Ooh, uh, people yeah, get ew. crazy about anchovies. Anchovies are a great flavor. Let's put some, we're going to get two butters melting because i got to make two sauces. i got to tell you, you've got some interesting ingredients with the anchovies, and some folks are a little leery about oysters, honestly. Well, they shouldn't be. I mean, uh, we we still, we use Lynn Haven oysters at, in the time of the year when water gets a little col uh, colder. Mm -hmm. uh, we get really, really nice Lynn Haven oysters. Um, and, uh, you know, the Lynn Haven oyster used to be uh, reserved for um, Regal, and uh, they're coming back. Um, uh, Lynnhavennow.org uh, has really done a great job of getting, you know, the, the people that pollute the bay is the people. Right. And the people who are cleaning up the bay are the people. Right, right, So right. It's, it's a good thing that we're trying to get done and get... Working the, together, get, at least. ...get everything done. Yeah. So here's an anchovy filet. This happens to be a white anchovy. So uh, wait, how do you, uh, when you go to the store, you get it, and yeah, then you, you like, fillet yeah. them? Yeah. Well, they did come fillet. Okay. So what happens with anchovies is pretty magical is because when they cook, they actually melt. Uh, meltdown, it'll separate and it becomes a flavor agent. Um, the, um, interesting. Here, do you want me to stir for you? Can I help you out in any way? You can stir if you want. You want to stir that? Or the, how's my butter doing? Let me turn that up okay, over there. Okay, we've got more butter here. Okay, so yeah. you put some butter here. And some butter some there. Some butter in there. What the reason is, and the reason I'm doing this is if I got to make this sauce and I'm going to cool it down so we can topple oysters with it, I put the spinach mixture underneath the oyster and then put a, a, another mixture on top of it. Okay. okay? Uh, so, this is pretty hot, by the way. I know. So we're going to put some shallots in there. Okay. That'll cool it down a little bit. Virginia says that she thinks that you should be doing this, this stirring. Am I not doing a good job here? <laughs> okay, let me have a spoon. <laughs> okay. Okay. A little salt and pepper. A little um, salt, salt and pepper. pepper. Okay. And then uh, if you see how this anchovy's breaking up right here. Yeah, see, I sure do. Once it, once it cooks down, you won't even see me, and the flavor's insane. So and people then, won't even know that they're in there. Right. Because you won't see it. Yes. Okay, yes. what was that? That was chopped capers. All right. Okay. Very, very nice. And Is there a season for oysters? Uh, Nowadays, you can get cold water oysters um, 12 months out of the year. But okay. we typically start using, how's my butter over here? It's a we, boiling. We, we start using uh, oysters late October, mm -hmm. and we go into end March, into April, and then we stop them for the, uh, the season. Oh, okay, so this really is kind of the perfect time for your oyster Absolutely. Rockefeller. Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, they're really, really coming nice. And oysters you'll see today when we shuck some, because I'm going to teach you how to shuck an oyster. You um, think you are. <laughs> I, think I, am. Sorry. I didn't mention this at the beginning, but I figure most people know you're at Steinhelber's. Steinhelber's so restaurant. You can find you there. Fairy Acres, famous for shrimp and the oysters Rockefeller. Uh -huh. um, so if I just put that Parmesan cheese in it, mm -hmm. in the uh, spinach, I'm going to take this mixture. It's done. I'm going to let back. it cook down just a little bit more. Okay. We'll add that to the spinach, mix it up. So, going back over here... Now, your butter is boiling. Is that... Okay. Are you afraid that it's going to burn? No, it's not going to burn, because I'm, I'm going to crank this up. Okay. So, now we're going to make a roux, okay? A roux is classic, uh, equal parts fat and flour. Mm -hmm. um, equal okay. parts fat and flour. Now, in this right. recipe, and the recipe should be on your screen, and... Um, we're going to actually have that at the HamptonRoadShow.com okay. after the show ends. When you mean equal parts uh, fat and flour, the fat would be the butter, right? Fat would so be butter, but you can use bacon fat, you can use um, a vegetable oil, any kind. And I use a little bit more flour in this recipe because I want it a little thicker. Um, and then you cook it for about, we make a blonde, what we call blonde roux. We cook it for about 30 seconds. You want to get that rawness out of that. Okay. That, that, uh, Look at you, the master at work. <laughs> so, so we're going to add this to the spinach. Okay. By the way, you cooked the spinach before the show started. Yes, you just, I had uh, fresh spinach. Yeah, you boiled uh, it down. And then I cooked it, strained it, uh, and then chopped it up. So we'll mix that up. What happens here with the roux now? We're cooking it just a little bit, and then we're going to add some liquid to it. Okay, I know we have to wrap it up. Okay. So uh, we're going to have you add the liquid, and we'll talk about that. Okay. And uh, continue with the dish, the okay. oysters Rockefeller, coming up in our next cooking segment. Okay.
Masters Rockefeller with Bobby Huber from Stein Helbers this morning. Looks a little different in the kitchen. Yeah, this is a quick and easy recipe. This now, is our spinach mixture. This is it. our roux that I put a bunch of herbs of basil, mm -hmm. uh, thyme, uh, oregano, a little bit of parsley. Mm -hmm. And in here is uh, well, see, earlier, we it, before which, we left, we had the um, the the roux that you had started. Mm -hmm. And then what did you put in? I to put the, the herbs. I put um, some milk, some heavy cream. Um, and salt, pepper, my secret ingredient, which is a smoked Surrey sausage, which, uh, which everyone on my staff knows is the world's yeah. greatest sausage in, yeah. in the world. And, and, and it's just kind of there in the middle of your sausage. Yeah, and, and you don't use it. It's just to flavor oh, okay. it. And you take it out, and then you grill choice. it, and you eat it and right. while you're making your oysters. And then I finish it off with Parmesan cheese. And I put a lot of Parmesan cheese because you know, most Americans, well, Enjoy everyone cheese. likes a lot of cheese. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yeah. So we come over to the oysters. Okay. And that's the main attraction here. I mean, look at this, Antonio. Look at these oysters. They're enormous. They, they, they're from the Lynnhaven River. Um, they're coming back with a vengeance. You look at these. I've already shucked in a matter of minutes before we came back on air. No, um, you did that in the break? You <laughs> no. did not. <laughs> Don't lie to us. Um, but these are the way the oysters come. Uh, is a quick, simple lesson in shucking an oyster. Okay, without hurting yourself. Without, most people keep it flat on the board. They go in through the back, and they just kind of twist. Right. Pop, oh. pop it open. You just twisted the knife. Twisted the knife, popped it open, mm -hmm. and you come in and you cut the bivalve. Now, if you look, this right here is a bivalve, uh -huh. and that's what ke keeps it connected to the bottom, sure. and the top, and they they they, they breathe, uh, they bring in water, and that they filter it, and that's how they that's how they uh, get the nutrients, right. and that's what makes the oyster so different. Is because different locations have different salinity, algae, back, you know, whatever is in the water, and mm -hmm. these are wonderful. And so you just um, disconnected the bivalve from the shell. Yep. So you just did. Yep. And then you know, uh, this one right here, I'll eat because I know you have a little. Thing. Well, I mean, <laughs> I have a little thing. Mm. I, you know, I've never had a raw, raw oyster before. Maybe before the end of the show. Maybe so we'll maybe do it. Oh God, it's incredible. It's one of the best things in the world. So what we do, we'll bring these over here. Okay. And, and so there's nothing on here right now. You just um, open them up and the then disconnect the bivalve. Yeah, and I and like I said, I have a real passion for oysters. So for the Rockefellers, what we do is for, for my Rockefeller, we stuff the bottom with the spinach mixture. We top it, oh, and we take nice. a little bit of this mixture, okay. put it on top, and then we roast it in a 500 degree oven, really hot. They get nice and bubbly and golden brown, and then they they totally change the texture of the oyster and the flavor. That's really cool. Yeah. So, I mean, really, it is a meal unto itself. They're oh, like absolutely. little plates, and you know, little. Would you use them as like appetizers? Appetizers, or? absolutely. Appetizers. People order them at the restaurant for a meal. We're serving these. We'll serve the, this recipe all the way through April. Okay. Um, you know, not all the way through April, probably the beginning of April. If the weather stays cold, we'll keep using the oysters. Once it warms up a little bit, we stop using them. And uh, yeah, I had a table the other night ordered uh, six dozen of them. Wow. <laughs> I don't know how they did it. I know. Well, That's they obviously lot. loved your oysters, Rockefeller. We're going to put those in the oven and finish it up. Finish it all up. In our next segment. Okay. Right, Bobby, thanks. We are wrapping up our oysters, Rockefeller, with Bobby Huber from Stein Hilbert. They are in the oven. They're in the oven. They're browning. We're Later trying to brown them. them. Mm -hmm. And then finish cooking, they're bubbling away. Gotcha. And, uh, and what kind of heat do you have on it? Uh, 500 degrees. Wow. Uh, that's kind of high. It is high. And okay. uh, yeah, if you have a gas oven, then you maybe want to cut that back by 50 degrees because uh, gas recovers a little bit quicker. Um, and if it's still not brown enough, maybe put it underneath the broiler, do something with the broiler with it. Okay. So how long again? Uh, about 10 minutes. Okay. So not take. too long. But you're waiting for the cheese to bubble over. Yeah, I'm waiting. The goodness of the cheese. The goodness of the cheese wonderful. to brown and bubble and... It's close. It's getting close to it, and um, it's doing well. Okay, good. I think we're going to open the oven to kind of see if we can get a shot of it. Let's see. Is it done? It's not quite there not yet, quite. but we can pull a pan out. Okay. And these are them cooking away and, and getting ready. If you notice, the oysters are starting to curl up, Very and nice. the cheese is melting, and it's it's going to get all bubbly. And in about another five minutes, we okay. can go ahead and plate it and well, all that stuff. Let's stick that stick that back in there. And once you do. How many do you put on a plate? How do you well, we finish usually, it up? We finish it up just by putting it on a plate, a little bit of, you know, color on a plate, something, mm -hmm. the rock salt, lettuce, something like that. Where can folks find you if they would rather try the way you make the oysters at Rockefeller than try it themselves? Well, I, yeah, of course, Stein Home. Yeah. It's 653 Thalia Road. Uh, the phone number is 340-1156. Um, you know, we're famous for fried shrimp. We've got 
great steaks, we've got great seafood, everything's done cut to order, nothing is pre-made, all of the desserts are made from scratch, there's nothing we don't make in-house. Great stuff. I'm still, still trying to figure out how, in the last segment, you said that a group of folks got six dozen oysters. Six dozen Rockefeller. oysters Rockefeller. So anyway, thinking about that, but we're going to definitely try the oysters Rockefeller before the end of the show. Thank okay. you very much, Bobby. Great. Thank you.